Hi guys, today I'm going to be installing the Micro Air Easy Start. Um, I finally got this soft start kit and I'm looking forward to having this on my air conditioning unit so I could go start this thing on my generator. I'm hoping that all works out. First thing we want to do is make sure that this is safe. So right now everything is hot. Safety first. Just have to take this. There you go. And then everything's pulled. No more power. The next thing that could possibly hurt or kill you is the capacitor. So we're gonna take care of that right now. So we can drain the capacitor using a multimedia. Here we go. You just touched the common terminal and the fan, common terminal and the perm and make sure that you get zero volts which I do so I'm safe so safety first okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this thing I've been looking for a good spot to mount this thing and I think I'm going to put this thing right over here There's this nice little knockout over here, uh, which is going to work perfectly for taking through the wires. So just to note, when you're putting this thing in, um, according to the manual, they said don't put this thing upside down. Uh, I don't exactly understand why, but they said that the capacitor inside has to always be facing downward. Or it could be parallel if you, if you want, but it's not supposed to be upside down like this. So unfortunately that's gonna make my wire have to be going from the bottom and then all the way up. But uh, we wanna follow the manufacturer's specifications. So nice thing about this is there's already some pre-drilled holes here so I can use those. I think I'm gonna have to drill it two more but uh, I can use some of them that are already there oh, that's, good. that's perfect so I got these uh, number 10 3 4 inch screws I like this spot here because it's not going to be anywhere near the fins. I think I'm going to be very good here. The fins are like in there. I went with 3 4 inch because I don't want to puncture anything. anywhere. And I like it over here because it's sort of protected from the elements with this top over there. So let's run the wire through. And then bought 
this bushing. So this will keep um, the wire from chafing or breaking with uh, this area with the with the metal there. Uh, so let's just verify everything one last time. We have the orange wire going to the Herm on the capacitor. We have the black wire going on the fan side of the contactor. And then the main condenser wire, the brown is going to the condenser and then the white is going to the contactor. Uh, so let's uh, fire up and see if it works. Okay. I'm going to go plug that thing back in. So that's on. And then I'll zoom in towards the meter. And let's kick on the air conditioner. Okay, that's the fan. Oh. That's the air conditioner. And that's on. So, I guess my meter only reads the first inrush and then it doesn't uh, keep updating when the rest of the rush comes in. That's not helpful. Uh, so what's happening is the fan is kicking on first. I think my meter is reading that as the inrush and only saying that, oh yeah, that's four point something amps. And then when the real inrush with the condenser kicking on comes in, it doesn't register that. So unfortunately, my amp meter wasn't able to capture the inrush after I fixed it uh, with the soft start, but I'll at least show you what we captured on the sense. So this is the profile before I installed the soft start. As you can see, there's this big jump up here. Um, this isn't an inrush meter, so it's not going to capture um, instantaneous, but you can see it's uh, 4,479 watts, at least from this thing detected here. Uh, as you remember, I was getting like a hundred something amps of inrush um, on the meter. And then now here's the profile after we install the soft start. Uh, it's nice and even. I wish I could tell you the exact inrush um, right now that we're getting, but uh, as you saw in the video, the, the, the amp meter is just, I just have a cheap amp meter that only takes the instantaneous inrush and um, after that it doesn't show any additional inrush um, as, as it's ramping up. All right guys, it's another day. Um, the air conditioner has been off since maybe 12 or 14 hours. We're gonna give it a shot um, on the generator to see if this thing works. Moment of truth. So let's get a generator power. And we're on generator power right now. Let's go by the condenser and uh, watch it kick on. All right, guys, um, let's see if this works. Oh, turn this thing on. All right, 68. Let's watch the sense meter. Oh. Oh. Oh.
I think it's working. I heard the generator spin up. No big spike. <laughs> Yeah, great. So the soft start actually works. I'm gonna try uh, adding some load and seeing uh, how much stuff can run while my air conditioner's on. Can the garage door opener work while the air conditioner's on? Yes, it can. Looks like it's only around 34 or 46 watts to run the tankless hot water heater. I have a gas one, but it still needs electricity to run the computer or the control unit. Nice hot water. So here's a recap of my setup. Um, I have my generator inlet port over here. Um, I have a 1430 plug there, and then it's going to my main panel generator interlock kit so that I can't have the main power on while the generator is feeding power in here. Then I bought this really long cable to keep the generator in the backyard. Then on this side of the house, we have the soft start kit. Everything's running good there. And there's the easy start. So I'm generally happy with this whole setup. Um, I'm happy that I could run my AC, basically all my appliances. I was checking the lights, the even the garage door opener. Everything works even with this AC on. Um, the only thing that I'm slightly afraid about is the runtime. Um, with uh, full load, I'm pretty sure I'm looking at maybe, I don't know, three to five hours. I'll have to see. Um, but yeah, the, my next project will be to try to add a um, a motor snorkel to my generator so that we can go see if it runs uh, natural gas or propane. It'd be really cool to be able to set it up with natural gas and then I don't have to run it anymore on gasoline. When you hook it up to natural gas or propane, it reduces the amount of power. So I don't know if I would still be able to start the air conditioner, but I'm gonna try. Thanks for watching and see you guys in our next video. Bye.